I'm going to show you how to print scripts and rundowns. Well, fortunately, since we're using iPads now to access scripts, and that goes for anchors, we don't need to print scripts anymore. That's going to save a lot of time, it's going to save a lot of money, and since anchors have an iPad, everything that is changed, updated, and in inception directly is going to be updated directly, automatically into their iPads. But we need to provide rundowns to uh, floor managers, rundowns to our camera operators, maybe some people who are in the control room need a rundown. For that, we're going to look for our rundown. And once we are in the place where we want uh, to print, we need to, first of all, number our rundown. See where it says page here? We have A, B segment, C segment, or D, E blocks. They're called segments or blocks. So A block, B block, C block. And we want to number those. Whenever we click this, then we say renumbering running order, and you will see that this is populated. Some of those are missing. Like we have C1 and C2, but there's nothing here and there's nothing here, and that's because those stories simply don't exist. They are completely empty. So Inception will not number storylines that are not populated. You can simply either delete them or you can just ignore them. You can delete here and you can delete another one. That's up to you really if you want to delete or not those lines. But once you have them numbered, then you go to the print icon and we would like you to simply select technical director view. And the reason why we want you to select that one is because it is going to show just a few columns that are needed to identify which camera, which anchor, uh, what's happening on the air, if we need to take video or if the anchor is going to be simply reading off camera or on camera, what's the slug, uh, the name of the story, what's going to be the story number. So these are basically selected here. And we have a bunch of options, but really all we need are the page, which are the ones that we just uh, uh, renumbered or numbered in our rundown. We have the source, where this is coming from. It's camera number one, play A, play B, or camera number two or three. The slug, which is the story title or the name of the story. The segment, and then we have the anchor that's actually reading this. So once we have selected this, you can select which size you want to be included in that printout. Font size, normally small is fine or normal is fine, up to you. Anything bigger than normal is just completely unnecessary. Let's call it normal for now. And when you click print, you're going to get this preview. So as you can see, we have the page numbers here. We have the slug with every title, every story that we have. We have empty spots where nothing was populated and it's not numbered. We have sources, we have the segment, and we have the anchors who are actually reading the stories. So this will be completely populated. We have a ready-to-go newscast. If you just want to print, you simply press print, and then it's going to print in the uh, control room. For now, we're not going to print anything. So that's how you get to uh, printing rundowns. You can also basically print the scripts. So truth is we don't need scripts like I said we have an iPad now and the iPad shows the scripts to the anchors so we only need to print the technical director view and basically perspectives that's all